Hi, I'm uh, Spencer Semple, uh, Vice President of Admissions for Blythe Academy, and I'm here today with uh, Luke Coles, who's our principal at uh, Blythe Academy Lawrence Park. Um, I know that current and prospective parents have a lot of questions right now. It's obviously an unprecedented time um, with Blythe Academy campuses moving to a virtual model. So I wanted to have the opportunity to speak with Luke and we'll talk a little bit about what's been going on at Lawrence Park um, this week. It's certainly, uh, I mean, I'll start off by saying couldn't agree more, unprecedented times. And uh, I think I've realized that if anyone in our campus was was intimidated by what was to come, it's, it, was, it was me more than anyone else. And that's partly a product, I think, of, of, uh, of age and perhaps comfort with technology. Um, a lot of our teachers are, are younger than I am. And, and there was this sense of, of comfort and confidence um, as soon as it became clear to us that we were gonna have to shift from traditional classrooms to virtual classrooms. Um, they wanted, I think teachers first wanted reassurance that they would still be interacting with students. Uh, it's such a different thing what we are doing than simply online learning. And uh, we're in day three right now. And Spencer, I've been, uh, I've been pretty blown away by what I've seen. Um, there's, there's intimacy still present with this technology. You know, kids are seeing each other. Kids are able to read uh, each other's reactions. Um, the intimacy is still present. The, uh, the learning is, is personal. Um, and we feel that we've got a product. It isn't, it isn't gonna be on par or exactly the same as traditional face-to-face -face classroom learning, uh, but we've got a product that's really engaging and, uh, and given our current external challenges, uh, we feel we, we couldn't feel much better about it on day three. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. And Luke, I think you raise a really good point um, that a lot of our students and, and our teachers um, are digital natives and they're used to you know this virtual interaction, they're used to FaceTime, they're used to video calling. Um, and you know, it's it's great to see that that engagement and those interactions are still taking place. So if 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 you can tell, you know, uh, current Current parents see it in action, and, and we've had some great feedback from them, I understand. Um, you know, they can look over their kid's shoulder and they can see what's going on. Uh, but for prospective parents out there, tell us a little bit about uh, the approach that you've taken um, to, uh, you know, to the virtual campus. For sure. So, I mean, in our in our face-to-face -face traditional campus, uh, students are in class daily for two hours and 15 minutes per class. We, we felt, and so far, think that we were right in feeling that two hours and 15 minutes of sharing a virtual space was too much all at once. Yes. Um, what our teachers are doing is they're spending a full hour with their classes in that virtual space every day. So it's some normalcy in the day for students. It's something that they can sort of wake up for and count on. It's, it's, a, it's a bit of structure in their day. Uh, so if a student is, is taking two courses with us in our full-time program, they will have two of those full one hour um, virtual classroom experiences, seeing their classmates, interacting with their teacher, able to share documents with teacher and classmates both, uh, a really dynamic um, and personal experience for that, for that hour. And then we're saying expect over the rest of your day, the second hour of what would normally be your traditional class to be uh, independent work. Um, we're also supporting that second hour. Our teachers are all taking um, at least an hour a day after class time is finished um, for what we're calling currently office hours and uh, and kids are making quite a bit of use of that and getting some one-on-one -on -one time with their teachers to support them in that second hour each day yeah that's awesome that's you know that's amazing how you know how are students doing and yeah you know, how are they feeling about this you know we just mentioned earlier that the majority of our students are digital natives they're they're familiar with technology they're more familiar with this approach you know how how do they feel about the learning itself yeah, well, it's day three and and uh, kids aren't necessarily going to volunteer uh, calls and emails of, of feedback, but we're getting their feedback, of course, through their parents um, yeah. who are more prone and likely to send us emails. And I've had a lot. Um, and what we're hearing echoes what I saw, because in the first morning I was I was just bouncing around among classrooms that that first day on Monday. And at the start of especially our first period classes, I saw student faces, many of them looking um, a little skeptical, unsure, uh, maybe feeling awkward. There was a, you know, there was kind of a strangeness to it that of course you'd expect. Uh, but man, was it fast until suddenly 
they were they were just getting on with things and they were answering questions and they were taking notes on teacher lectures um asking questions answering questions um so the best feedback i think we've got so far was from parent who um who just said to us that she thought a great compliment was her daughter saying at dinner uh this was last night so after the second day of virtual classes uh her daughter said at dinner with the family that um she wasn't really feeling that things were as different as she thought like she sort of wakes up and feels like okay it's time to go to bly um that feels like a really great compliment not just to what we're doing but also to the technology that that we're we're using that's great that's great um something you said you know i find really interesting i think of the typical kind of monday morning back after march break and yes. principal of a school you know popping through the school sticking his head into classrooms um you know and saying hello to the students and welcome back and i mean you were able to do that in a virtual way by popping into these virtual classes um you know you didn't put in the steps but you were still able to pop into the classroom um and have those interactions and i think that's fantastic i was it's a really interesting dynamic because it's it almost feels you know when you walk into the back of a class if you come in the back of the class and something's happening you can you can be very non disruptive you know you can just sort of stand at the back and watch things and not interfere and and leave and people may not even have known that you're there uh i'm finding that that entering into these classrooms um they really are intimate spaces right these are spaces that are shared by by the students in the class and the teacher and the dynamic that was created in the traditional classroom is continuing on in this virtual classroom and my coming in uh requires like some timing it's better to be in from the start of the class you know and uh but you're absolutely right i i actually was able to pop into more classrooms than i would have been able to where we still in our traditional school um our teachers have also said which i think is kind of fun that attendance and uh and sort of punctuality at the start of class is is higher than it's probably ever been for us kids are there that's great that's yeah. great yeah and, and you know as we've been saying you know learning as usual um as much as possible and i mean it sounds like you know our students have really bought into that and are on board i think so um they're they're so far very on board i mean our challenge will be uh we know our challenge we have to keep this engaging you know there's the first couple of days it's new and i think that's a little bit to our advantage and and our teachers are ready and aware that in order to keep this going and keep the momentum as it as it currently feels we're going to have to make sure that the content we have is student friendly yeah absolutely and i mean you know that segue is perfectly into my next question it's become it very apparent over the last few days um with language and announcements from the government that we will not see schools reopen um you know at the beginning of april this uh you know current situation and current circumstance looks like it will um you know continue um what are your thoughts in terms of you know sustainability of this model and as we move into term 4 uh, and get you know get prepared for summer i'm glad like i appreciate the question um i think what we've got from day 1 which is pretty awesome to be able to say this we've got something that is that is very sustainable um why do i say that it's not technology based it's the fact that this technology has allowed us to stay personal and that's what our school is uh blight academy if it has one differentiator i think it's it's the personal element it's our smaller class sizes it's the kid walking into the school and being greeted by name every morning by the first adult they see uh and i feel that we are able to um I'm not going to say replicate it but we're able to maintain that that personal element with the way that we are doing classes. We couldn't do the classes we're doing virtually if there were 30 students in a class. We can with that sweet spot of 10 to 16 students, they can see each other all at once. So we feel very comfortable that we will um we will see this technology through to what for us is the end of term 3 uh coming up in 3 or 4 weeks time. if uh if things remain as they are we we can launch term 4 and if if need be we could very comfortably i think see ourselves through um as much as the external environment needs us to term 4 summer school um this is a very different product than what i experienced years ago as a as a student online this is this is in person engaging um and sustainable yeah absolutely i mean the feedback we're really getting is that it's not online learning so much as it is a virtual campus all of the things that students you know expect when they walk into blyth in the morning right down to guidance right down you know to university preparation and all yep. of those things are still happening just in you know in the virtual space 
Yeah. Um, and, and, and it's been great, you know, great to chat with you and, you know, great to hear that, you know, kind of straight from the school. Um, and we definitely look forward uh, to continuing these conversations. Thanks, Spencer. Uh, yeah, perfect. Thank you so much, Luke. Okay.